Hello, this is Apple and Epstead Camp, and we have Gravity 2 for you. The game is a follow up to the original Endless Runner, where you simply tap to run on the top of the shitty or the bottom of the shitty. Now, in Gravity 2, you are changing up the gameplay completely. Mini Clip has gone and completely redesigned the game, which is quite odd. So now, you're not actually tapping to shift gravity, you tap in the bottom right corner to lift the platforms and that helps you elevate to jump between each one. It's odd that they would completely change the game, especially with the original being such a success. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, with a sequel you don't want just a new uh, design or new levels of the existing game, it's really neat to use the same storyline and change it up completely. In addition, you also have a boost that I just used and that's with the bottom left corner. So now that's a big platform. And then there's these bonus like lasers to go through. And you also get a bonus like there if you can land in the middle of the given platform. These big long platforms add for extra challenge because as you can see there's danger right there to want to land on the electric grid. And then there's also mines in the such. Oops, and so they, they got me. And we complete all the given missions for that specific challenge. Now we got brand new missions, unlock some power-ups. We'll use that. Sure. <laughs> and as you can see, you already start off. It's that same similar in the style. Gravity Guy did a good job, the original that is, of giving you different layouts each time that you ran. This game is setting up in the same type of city with the elevated... Oh my god. I could see that one coming from a mile away. And so, one really neat addition is there's seven different clones to choose from. I mean, their coins are far out of reach in the initial stages of the game. But you have clones, so as soon as you die, you can just start up a new one. And then we'll dive into the shop. The game is 99 cents, but there's obviously a coin pack, so you can unlock the different clones and special powers. Okay, good to know. Just wanted to show you that. And so we'll dive back in for another play session. Let's see what we got this time. Still the same setup. This game is a lot slower in pacing compared to the original. The original becomes hectic <laughs> from the get-go almost. And this one, I mean, your character's moving relatively slowly. And that the original is so challenging that you're left with some instances where you're frantically tapping the screen to try to flip between both sides because there's all kinds of intricate little challenges of different blocks to get stuck on and it's a race against the clock because the side of the screen you need to stay ahead of. And this game that takes all of that away. So it seems like Miniclip has tried to make the game a little bit more casual friendly to appeal to more people. Even though I don't know if that was necessarily a problem with the original. And there's also the idea of don't mess with success because the original formula was really popular. They got millions of downloads on it. And now you're gonna introduce a brand new thing. Hmm. This is definitely an endless runner that is like many in the App Store, but at the same time, 
it's different than any other in the app store. So you gotta give Miniclip credit of reinventing Gravity Guy. With this elevated platform lift system to leap between. Because they could have again just done exactly what the original did. Oh my god. <laughs> And that is in essence Gravity Guy 2. There's all kinds of unlockables, leveling up, powers, missions, all that kind of good stuff to go to keep you playing Endless Runner, and then the unlockable clones. But the base gameplay of lifting the platforms to leap to the next platforms is a brand new twist for Gravity Guy. It's a whole new take. It's nice to see for a sequel. And this is AppleAndApps.com. Hoping you enjoy our in-action videos, and we're going to keep diving into Gravity Guy 2 to give you a full review coming soon. Talk to you next time.